how to mod your PS5 in 2022. This is super easy to do and doesn't require you to jailbreak the PS5 which is a massive plus. Although jailbreaking the PS5 is now possible, the issue is your console does need to be on a low firmware and you cannot play online or update the console. Luckily, you don't need to worry about that for this method. Before we get into this, if you guys do find this video helpful in any way, giving it a quick like rating helps me out immensely. Here is a quick word from my sponsor. If you would like to own a RGH Xbox that does things a normal retail console just simply cannot do, if you do wish to grab a RGH Xbox console for yourself, feel free to click the link down below to the console warehouse website where you can browse the collection of RGH consoles. So you might be thinking, this just sounds too good to be true, as you don't need to go through the effort of jailbreaking your console and keeping it offline. What's the catch? So the only catch to this, and that's if you would even call this a catch, is this mod tool only works with PS4 games that were ported over to the PS5. But this shouldn't even be an issue as a lot of games such as God of War, Last of Us, Cyberpunk, etc. are ported over anyway, and you can mod all of these games. The only games you just can't mod are the ones that were purely made for the PS5 and don't have a PS4 version, if that makes sense. A whole new PS5 version of Cyberpunk was released not so long ago. In this video, I am modding the PS4 version, not the PS5 version. So to do this, you are going to require a USB stick. Now it doesn't matter what size it is, it can be a 4 gig or even a 20 gig. Just make sure it's completely blank. So to do that, you can just format it on your PC just to make sure there's nothing on it. There is one more thing you need to have and that is Save Wizard. This is a mod tool which will allow you to mod your PS5 and once again there will be a link down below to that it's a lifetime purchase and in my opinion it's worth every penny it isn't too expensive and you will need it for this video so now let's get into the actual tutorial on how to mod on your ps5 console so as you can see we're on the ps5 now and what we're going to do to begin with is insert our usb into the ps5 console now you want to go into your settings menu and you want to keep going down until you reach saved data game app settings. So once we get onto this, we now want to go into the saved data PS4 settings here. So what we're going to do is go onto saved data PS4 and then go to console storage. Now what you want to do is just press R1 and go to copy to USB drive. And here are the games. So we are going to be modding Cyberpunk. So to do this, all we have to do is go onto Cyberpunk and then go to the right. So you're on this icon here, press X. And what you want to do is select a game save that you want to modify. So I'm actually going to pick one of the older saves. So let's go ahead and choose. I'm going to choose this one right here. So you're going to press X on it and then you're going to click OK. Now you're going to click the copy button. Now for some reason on this new PS5 update, it takes bloody ages to copy a game save onto a USB. I'm not quite sure why, but it's just recently happened on this new update. It's also important to note that we are going to be making a backup of this game save before we mod it, just in case anything goes wrong. Right, there we go, it's done. It took a long time, but it's now done. So now what we can do is take out the USB and insert it into our PC. Okay, so now we've actually inserted the USB into our PC. What you want to do is open up the USB in your file explorer. And when you go onto your USB, you should see a folder named PS4. And if we just go into this, you will see there will be a folder with the game save in it. You just want to make sure that's in there. It should be. So in this folder where your game saves are, if you would like to make a backup just in case anything goes wrong, I would recommend copying both of these files onto your pc somewhere else to make a backup of this game save you don't have to do this it's optional now the next thing you definitely want to do is open up your antivirus software and i use windows defender but what you want to do is deactivate the real-time protection and also the firewall settings as well 
This is purely because with programs like the one we're actually using here, the antivirus really does like to interfere and it can cause problems. So it's easier just to turn it off and you can turn it back on again afterwards. So now that you've done that, we now have the save wizard tool open. Now it's important to note that I have the online version, which I bought by accident, but it is what it is. There is two versions you can get. There's the online version that I've got here and there's also a software version that you install on your PC. But the process of this is almost identical, so don't worry about it. So now that you have a screen like this up, what we can now do is press this blue button right here, and now it's gonna say, how are you uploading your save? Now we are gonna be uploading it from the USB stick, so keep this ticked and select next. Now you need to select your PS4 folder. So this is really easy. You click this button. We go to where we were earlier on the USB drive and just select the PS4 folder and then click upload. Now you're going to see the Cyberpunk game save. And now we can select upload. Okay, so now this game save has been loaded in. What we can now do is modify the game save. So to do this, you click the blue icon here. Then you can just click close. And now you're going to see this menu screen. This is where you can actually modify the game save. And as you can see, there's tons of features in this that you can select and it will tell you about them as well. Each game will be different. Some games will have more features than others. But what we're actually looking at here is the quick mods options, which means that you can modify your rank, your money, your ammo. I did cover a bit of this in my previous video. Upgrades and loads of stuff. You can see here there is loads of options for Cyberpunk. So all I'm going to do is max all these features out. So now that I've maxed all these features, now I'm going to click the apply button and then click OK. And now it's just going to apply all those mods to the game save. So now what you want to do is click the download button. So it's this icon just here. Once you click it, it's going to download that game save. And when you open it up, you will see it will be in a PS4 folder. Now, the easiest thing to do here is to go back onto your USB stick. This is where we were earlier. And if you just drag this PS4 folder into here and replace the files, that is the easiest way of doing it. And it's just going to replace that game save with the modified one. So now that you've done that, we can now take out the USB and place it back into the PS5. You can go back to that same menu that we were at earlier. So let's go into settings, then go to save data. And now to save data in PS4. Now you want to select the USB drive option. Now what you will see is the Cyberpunk game save. So just click X on it and then click the copy button. And yes, you do want to overwrite the game save, so click yes. And now that's copied over the game save to your console. So you can actually take out your USB stick now and load up Cyberpunk. So the only thing you wanna make sure you do here is that you load the correct game save. So you wanna load the game save we've just modified. And as you can see, we've loaded into the game and we've got the max ammo there. If we go into the start menu, uh, we've also got the 99 street cred, all the money, really high level. So we can actually max out all of our stats and stuff, as you can see here. We could just make ourselves an absolute beast really early in the game. Might make the game a bit too easy, but it is what it is. But it is really as simple as that, guys. It's not difficult. I hope you guys did find this video easy to follow. Of course, if you have any problems, go ahead and comment down below. And either myself or somebody else will be able to help you in some way. Also, let me know in the comments what game you are going to mod on your PS5. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you do subscribe to my channel for all the best gaming content. And I will see you guys in my next video.